morning. Good evening. How's everybody doing? Good, sir. Good to meet you. you all set? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, hold on just a second. Let me just put On Sunday, January 13, 2019 of this year, the Birmingham Police Department lost Sergeant Latasha Carter due to senseless gun violence in the city of Birmingham, a city he loved and served several, several years in support of this city. Sergeant Carter accounted for homicide number four in this city. After the loss of Sergeant Carter, we did not sit on the sidelines. We didn't stumble on our heels. We, we proceeded to retrain our workforce. We shut down precinct after precinct and we trained our patrol force on patrol techniques, qualifications, parameters, crime suppression techniques, and how to address violence in the city. This training has paid us huge dividends as we recognize that we have some, some cases, in some cases, a very young patrol force, and we have to address that. Since that time, we've been tested repeatedly. Thankfully and gratefully, we have prevailed. On July 17, 2019, the evidence of this senseless gun violence raised its nasty head again on, as night began to fall in the city of Birmingham, where Officer Cullen Stafford and other officers were essentially ambushed as they responded to a robbery in progress call on the 500 block 23rd Street North. To give you just a little more detail on how severe his injuries are, I want you to know first that he's an eight year veteran with the Birmingham Police Department. He started his career January 18th of 2011. In fact, today is also his birthday. Officer Stafford is recovering from his injuries right now and, and his surgeries. Just so you know how severe it is, Officer Stafford was shot between five and seven times. He was shot once in the face, twice in the upper torso, and multiple times in one leg. It is difficult for us to determine the number of times he was shot because some rounds passed through his body multiple times. He, is in, he endured surgery last night, he endured surgery this morning, and he has multiple surgeries planned for the future. He has a very long road to recovery, and he's gonna need our support, and we're gonna be there for him. I want you to know that this police department stands committed to addressing violence in this city, even when that violence is pointed in our direction. We stand committed, and as law enforcement officers, we will never waver. Officer Stafford at the time of the shooting was assigned to a citywide task force. A task force convened to address violent crime in the city. The very type of violence that almost claimed his life. He's a, a decorated veteran of this police department. You will not find a more committed individual to making sure that violence in this city is subsiding. This department is very proud of him, his actions, and the actions of the responding officers. To the citizens of this city, we appreciate all of your support during this very difficult time. And our officers want you to know that this police department stands strong, we stand committed, and we're definitely here to continue to work and make Birmingham a much safer place. Thank you, Chief. <clears throat> Again, good afternoon, everybody. I just want to say a brief, a brief statement, a couple statements. 
One is that I've been in touch with officers, staff, and family. I have, I've had the opportunity to look his mother, his father in their eyes, and I can tell you uh, they're encouraged. Part of that is due to UAB emergency room and surgeons. I want to give a special thank you to Dr. Jeffrey Kirby of the UAB, um, who is a lead part of their trauma surgeon team in the emergency room, as well as all the other doctors, all the other surgeons, and all the other nurses, and the entire staff of UAB um, for the job well done yesterday as well as today and days to come in regards to making sure that Officer Stafford's recovery is speedy. You know, our officers put their lives on the line every single day in the city to protect and serve the people of Birmingham. And I think it's important upon all of us, mayor, council, citizens, to uplift them. Today we're focused on Officer Stafford and we are in full support of this police department. Chief mentioned it, but I think in closing, I just want to reiterate that many officers came to their colleagues rescue and aid yesterday and they could have been shot also and so to the courage that every other officer has shown during this time I want to say thank you to them in addition to that having had an opportunity to talk to officer Stafford's family and parents this morning I want to take the time to wish him a happy birthday part of that is because he's alive make no mistake about it if a person is shot between five and seven times someone is trying to take their life the fact that he is alive today and we can celebrate his life, I am truly honored to actually say the words, happy birthday, Officer Stafford. Thank you. So if you have any questions at this time, we'll go ahead and take questions. Chief, what can you tell us about the suspect? Has he been identified? Uh, yes, the suspect has been identified. We're unable to release the information right now due to the notification of the next of kin. We'll get that information out to you as soon as we can. Can you tell us uh, his age? Is he a teenager? Is he? Adult? We're not going to give any information on the suspect until we have an opportunity to give full information uh, once uh, the next of kin is notified. Can you tell what us what type of gun did the suspect have? Has that been identified yet? Um, remember, the full investigation is being conducted by the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. All of the evidence was collected by them. We'll verify and we'll get that information to you. Chief, was this a robbery or was it an act or was it an attempt? Was there an actual did, this was a suspect? this was a robbery in progress at the convenience store at that location. So did he get away with anything or it, there was evidence left at the scene. Uh, we we're unable to go into all of the evidence at this time. Chief, has this suspect had any trouble with the law in the past? We're not going to go into any inf information on the suspect until after we uh, have a fully identified him. We'll give you a full assessment of the suspect once we are free to give any information, but we're not going to give any indication until such time as we can identify. Chief, have you had a chance to see um, Officer Stafford's vest and how many times he may have been hit that the vest stopped the bullet from penetration? The vest was a factor and uh, definitely uh, in this instance probably saved his life. However, uh, you know, he was still hit multiple times, and he's going to have a long road to recover. What precinct is Officer Stafford assigned to? Officer Stafford at the same time was assigned to the citywide task force. Task force. And how, how are you know, his fellow officers doing? His fellow officers are doing fine. They're very uh, upbeat. They all came to his aid. They <coughs> recognize the dangers of the job that, that we signed on for, and they're all supporting him right now and our focus is on him and his recovery as well. Thank you, I'm sorry. How many uh, shots were fired by the suspect and then how many were fired by officers? Has that been determined yet? No, that has not been determined. Can you go over the timeline and just the, and the locations of when the shooting started, when the suspect began shooting, and when the suspect was killed? Can you go through that timeline briefly? As, as we mentioned, that part of the investigation is being conducted by Aaliyah, and at some point we'll be able to give you more information. Uh, however, this investigation is very new. Keep in mind, we didn't shut this thing down to till about two o'clock in the morning. So uh, there's a lot of evidence to go go through. There's a lot of information that we have to go through, and and uh, you know, just so you know, there are multiple agencies involved, and so we want to make sure that the information that we put out is factual information and not uh, assumptions. 
Chief, was Officer Stafford, was he struck at the store? Was he chasing the suspect? When exactly was he shot? He, he was shot on his way when they observed the suspect uh, and moved to that location, or leaving that location. But, you mean, so he was ambushed. Yes. The, was the shooter in the bushes at the time when Officer Stanford and others were walking around? And that's when he literally ambushed all the officers at that location? You know, we're not going to go into the details of, of that part of the investigation at this time. Remember, we're still going through all of the evidence. We have a lot of videotape evidence to go through. We have a lot of uh, physical evidence at the scene. And so until we're able to break that down and give you actual factual information, I do not want to give assumptions at this time. Is it true sure that Officer Stafford turned down Texas' position to stay on patrol because that, that's where his passion was? Officer Stafford was a dedicated uh, individual. He wanted to be out in the field and involved in what's going on. He was given an opportunity to work the citywide task force, and yes, he did turn down a uh, detective position because he wanted to be out and involved. Could what there have been mean? another suspect involved as well, or do we know for a fact it was only one suspect? From all indications, we, we have only one suspect that we're dealing with. Can you say how many officers are on the lead because of the involvement? Um, or, or how do you phrase it? How many officers uh, are off were duty. involved? There were approximately ten officers involved in this. So they're off duty at per protocol. They they are uh, essentially you can say they're off duty, uh, but we there are other things that we have to do in terms of uh, making counseling available to them uh, and other factors related to the investigation. Chief, there's an employee parking lot as well as a neighborhood right there. You mentioned the, the video <coughs> evidence, but were there witnesses to this as well? Yes, there were witnesses to this. There were, were several witnesses to the incidents who saw various parts. And, and as I said, you know, there's several things that, that must be broken down in its entirety. There's a lot of videotape evidence. There's body one uh, video and, and so forth. So there's a lot to go through in terms Did of the she investigation. Did the condition of the other officer who was injured in the fall? The other officer is doing very well. How many officers fired their, their weapons? We, we are not going to get into the investigation at this time and as soon as we can I'll do everything I can to keep you updated as we go through the investigation. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.